Hi, this is Jelle and you're watching Good News! Here we will be training small Cupid games using OpenAI baselines. I'm gonna tell you how to use DeepRL without getting freaked out by the hyperparameters. Whether you are a simple Python coder or a data scientist, if you're not training using DeepRL, then you've got to be collecting tons of data. In this web series, we will learn how to train a classical snake game using a popular technique called Synchronous Actor Critic. That too in a multi-agent cooperative settings. So there will be two snakes fighting for the same food and there will be multiple such environments. To keep things short and sweet, I have created a simple NumPy and Jupyter based display. Isn't that cool? No mess of gaming environments and super fast training. Of course we will look into gym environment and also learn how to create a custom gym wrapper game. Gym is the gateway to hundreds of gaming environment and has one of the easiest python based UI interaction I have personally come across in deep RL. Unlike deep learning, deep RL requires a better understanding of each hyperparameter such as entropy, KL divergence. So even if you get an online solution on git repo or somewhere google up, you need to tailor it according to your problem and that tailoring requires this kind of an understanding. So that's where you will benefit from this course. Especially when you come to actor critic, you will find its training very very similar to something like generative adversarial networks. Why? Because it also has an adversary, but here it is between advantage and policy entropy. And if you have trained GANs, you know how painful it can be. And if you don't know all these terms, don't need to worry, we will get to them. You will also encounter very interesting situations where the actor becomes overconfident and it goes in zen mode, where it doesn't want to uh, get more reward but it is satisfied by not colliding so no collisions means no negative reward but at the same time it doesn't want more reward which means that it is not ready to explore more such states or the policy has become saturated even before exploring properly so this explore exploit problem and other such problems will be very interesting scenarios which you will encounter while you're learning this and to quickly download this snake game you have the github link mentioned in the description by the end of the series you'll be able to train your most favorite game and then when you are sleeping it will be playing on your behalf don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more such awesome ml content